We all have issues going on. Meanwhile, I'm a full number six, and I'm fully in my six mode right now. I think I'm super depressed because it was like I had a lot of. Oh, I need to look this up. A lot of my dopamine um, oh, yeah, from receptors the trip. It's gone from all my friends, all the fun, all the drinking, all the drugs. Like everything was great, and all of a sudden it's like up, oh, bye, and it's over. It's really sad. Like it really kind of fucked it was me up. Like, I'm like still fucked up. Having from fun, it. having fun, having fun. It was a really good like, trip, though. I feel like too. Like I don't feel like it was. Then Saturday happened. Bad. I thought it, it was, wasn't bad. Like last year, I had so much worse of a time. Year, I think it was my problem. Again, I'm sick, so I created a lot of problems. Um, What's a in six? my head? The lo or the loyalist, and they're oh. the ones that are like pouty babies, basically. They're psychotic. Okay. Okay. Take my personality. That's a six. <laughs> are you a well, three? I was a two. Or two. wait. The, no, you the are helper. Too. You are the helper, bitch. You're the helper. It kind of reads you Great. for filth, to be honest, because it, read yeah. me, it reads me for filth. I was like, everyone, we're talking about enagrams. Enagrams. If you've never done an enagram test, how about this? Next week, we'll talk about enagrams. Um, I'll take a real one. We'll, we'll take our test. I took like, yeah. the free Google one. And I was like, we'll find a good one for you. Everybody out there can take their test, and then we'll all talk about a personality. I don't know if we've done this before, but if we did, it was episode like I don't think 10, we did. So we've never done. I didn't know about Enneagram. It'd be like, like literally though, when I was looking at it and matching what I'm just, looking at, like this and this and that, um, it makes sense of why I have a problem sometimes. Like, like if I would just chill out, everything would be great. But I don't chill out. I have to fuck shit up because I'm scared. Because I'm scared oh. of being abandoned. Oh, that's what yeah. Matt might be. That too. Then probably Matt was like a. I thought he took oh, it. He was a, Oh, he's something else. He was a seven, I thought. Or I don't know. I'll have to ask him. We'll figure it out. So everybody take Everyone your test. Everyone do an Instagram. We are back from Park City, Utah. This is not well. I'm Bobby. I'm Jen. I didn't even say that right. That was weird. I'm Bobby. I don't really give a fuck. And I also took an edible, like, literally when I walked in oh, the house. Really? So it's probably going to kick in in any, like, in 10 minutes. Girl! Um, we are on a time schedule because he has to sling some darts with some faggots. I, uh, I mean, Then I have darts. Like, what am I doing? I don't know. And, and yesterday I had shit. It's like. I'm just thinking about. We need a break. We need a vacation. I need a vacation from yeah. vacations. I, I know need, that like, sounds terrible. Two to three days off after well, a vacation, and it's official. And we we were supposed to have a day off. To be honest, we were. We were like, set it up. Literally, I was like, we'll get home at eleven p.m. on Saturday. We'll be tired, but then tomorrow Sunday, morning, yeah, I can sleep wake in, wake up, get our up. shit together, and take just, do some laundry. Yeah, no, everything's back. No, up. it was like. Okay. Well, all right. So yep. for starters, everybody needs to know what happened. Now, number <laughs> one, I'm going to let you guys know right now. I am officially the worst yeah. luck to fly you with. Are. I realize worst that. Worst luck ever. Yes. So please don't fly with me because you will and get And I stopped. didn't even plan to fly with you, mm. but it just happened by chance. And who are the people in the entire group that don't get out? Us. Um, yep, we were the whole trapped group. in Salt Lake City after about, what, three hours of delays. They finally tell us you're not making your flight in Denver. Do you know back I had home. that legit ask the pilot? I was pilot like, came out and I go, hi. I yeah. said, is this going to cancel? Like, yeah, I need to know. Tell like, us. He's yeah. like, 99.9%. He can't say it. Right, he's but like, he's, like, he's like, it's, it's a mechanical cancel. issue. Literally, our do you know our what plane it, had a mechanical issue. Do you know what happened? I found out. He told me. No. Because I think you were already on like, your other plane. I was watching I you was, just I was going to Chicago. I literally, he said that the wing, that the flap, so you know the things that come down and slow down the plane or speed up the plane, like at the beginning of the flight, if you ever look at the wings, you'll have these things that slide up and down. Yes. So it was so windy in Salt Lake City and so abusive out there when they landed that it tore off one of the flaps, like it, it like ripped off one of the flaps or something. Something happened with the flap, like the mechanicals of the it, so they thing, couldn't get it to move. Those like, things that I, I didn't think parts could just fly off a plane. I didn't fly off it like, it like. Bent it or something. something. Something happened with the wind affecting it, and then now they, they had to like redo the whole fucking wing. Like something was fucked. Yeah. Oh my god. So I mean, I guess it's a good thing we didn't go. It's on that a good plane. thing we weren't on that plane because landing would have been rough in Denver. So yeah, on the way there, I but was then delayed. even with Denver, like we would have gotten there, and there's there were delays all day there, uh, and then the storm was heading right there. So like the next day, we would have been trapped in Denver. The flight was terrible on the way. Yeah. Home, how did by you get way. home Sun? Oh really? Okay. So, so how did you get home Sunday? Well, okay. So we stayed in Salt Lake. We went to the Salt Grand America. Fam. I'm the so glad you guys stayed. Isn't it a nice hotel? Yeah, because we got a thousand dollars from Chase. Yep. So we were like, how do you Let's get just... that? Because I need to get it. Oh, you have to get it approved before. No, um, maybe you I can just keep your receipts. It. Okay, I have a receipt. Okay, yeah, I keep your receipts to... from Chicago. But then, okay, yeah, because you got delayed in Chicago. You missed Chicago's flight to. They Columbus. canceled our flight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're good. So we had to yeah. go to Chicago. Yeah, so you can probably get a thousand dollars worth of shit. It's like five hundred a person. Good. Okay, so um, we go to Salt Lake, and uh, Salt Lake is so interesting. 
it's pretty around that area, but then I'm like, is right. this ghetto no, or it, is it? it, is. it I is. can't decide what it is, though. It is. When Matt was, we were walking to the I medical like, marijuana store mm. for Matt, we were in this neighborhood that I was like, uh, like you can't tell if it's nice or tents not. Tents on the sidewalks and just full homeless like, encampments. And then there's like a Chinese restaurant there. And I was like, okay, what's this? I had a guy throw a snowball at me. At me and Michael oh, were walking by. So, so I'm like, like he was weird. playing, but I was like, but are you attacking me? I'm like, are you? Are you high? Are you crazy? Are you? So we walked around. I had 14,000 steps that day, by the way, on my broken fucking ankle, basically. Um, on because Saturday? I'm, just because of Salt Lake City Airport alone, we walked out. Oh, yeah, we out. really That's did. like oh, 6,000 You have to steps. go underneath oh, my multiple God. terminals and then like come out of. No. They have got. There was a sign up. They said they were going to have a central terminal thing, like yeah. a central tunnel or something. But it's still walking. But it's still going to. Yeah. It's and they said hell. That they it's go. Hell. Uh, you can think us later. Or it says like yeah, doctors say steps. that you have. Ten- you saw that I read sign? that fucking sign. I saw the sign. I go at Are the end ye- of like the yep. jungle mural with all the yep. animals. At yep. the end, they're like, <laughs> you can thank us for your steps because your doctor says. And I'm like, I don't want to step. And last year, I had disabled Matt. I had to push him in a wheelchair that whole way. Hi, I was disabled Remember? this year. Remember? And, and you had Denver. Yeah. Like we're oh, and so then you went to Denver. So and you, oh. twice. Oh, okay. So on the way in, we, so Salt Lake we were City was fun. You went to that gay bar. We Saturday actually did. Night? I couldn't. You we, were just, just, we just edged you, for like three hours and tried to get guys to come over. Three hours? Fun. That's a long time. It was a long time. It was from like 10 to, well, maybe two hours. That's why we didn't get a lot of sleep because we were ready to fuck. Oh, but no one came over. We couldn't really find. People were like going out yeah. at the time we were trying oh, yeah, to hook. Saturday night. It's, yeah. Because one guy was like, I was like, get some friends, some hot friends come over, yeah. whatever, suck us off. And he was like, Okay, and then I was like, so how long do you think this is going to be? And he's like, oh, it won't be till way later. And I'm like, okay, well, like, I got to fly. I got to get up at 3.30 um, in the morning for my flight to Denver, where I then walked. 3.30. So on the way in, in the we, go, we had to stop in Denver, and we had to go from literally this side of, uh, is it B Terminal? Which one? United. Oh, I think so. All the way from one end. Oh, you had to ride the little thing? Yep. Yeah. No. no, there's no riding some little thing. I had to walk. So oh, I'm, I'm hobbling I down. there was a little underground. Okay. N- is there? No, it's just between the terminals oh, here, oh, not this way. Oh, the gates are all yeah. you're in one B. I'm in okay. one. Uh, so I'm in like we were in like five B, and we had to go to ninety five B. No, now no, I, I, nope. and we had about twenty minutes till the flight left once we landed. No, no, yeah. So no. we had to rush. We had to rush, and so I'm like Michael. Just, twenty minutes. I said just go. I said just yeah, fucking go. Run. So he goes. I was to actually keeping up with him for a while. People. Got. So I find out later that it was 1.33 miles from one end to the other on that fucking, and I'm like, you have. That's a 20 minute walk. If you're walking fast. I got to the gate when they started putting people on the plane. And I'm talking, I was, talking, say, I was, I was moving like, it though. Like I was moving oh, it. Oh, you had 20 minutes till board. Okay, yeah. not lift off. I was like, wait. Yeah, till boarding. But I don't like, okay, so then no, the plane still, we get on is like literally the size of this no, room. No, no. Another small plane. You had a small plane from. No, the- on the way in. So that's what I'm talking about. And so on the way in, we took this little shanty plane over the Colorado Rockies, hoping we we're going to die. Oh, my great. God. Good, good, good. God is good. God is great. And then from Denver to Columbus, it so was da- another shanty. So no. So from Salt Lake City to Denver, it, was an, it wasn't a shanty, though. It was like more like the regional jets that are go to oh, yeah. Toronto. Yeah, like I like Toronto those. Delta okay. Yeah. Three first or, class in the front, like one, yes, two, yes. one. And then it's kind of like it's still a little tight, but it's better than nothing. Two two is not bad to me because like you have more room. Yeah. It so I was like, okay, cool. We get to Denver. Guess where our gate's at? We go from B ninety five to B six, and I'm like, so we're gonna do that. We had more time. Of Although it. we were delayed out of Salt Lake City for about 45 minutes because we had no. two DIs about 55 no. fucking times. What if you had? Oh. I know I can't. That's why I said to myself, and Michael's like, getting pissed. He was I'm like, like if we don't leave. He's like, if we don't, you're gonna miss a day of work. <sighs> It's not good. I will say my ankle was hurting so fucking bad in Salt Lake City. Whenever we stayed at the hotel, I like had to. I mean, I was like, it was like aching, like the ache. Or like, remember the fall. Oh, we have we to didn't talk tell about that. People about that. Um, <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> I witnessed this and screamed loudly. I drawing was sober people in. Uh, totally sober. Totally not high. I don't think we. I don't no, even think we I took just anything. In the hot tub. Like we were just hanging out in the hot tub. Yeah, we that we did a recording, which. We gotta listen. We gotta to figure out. I've got. I just haven't had time to edit. Yeah, because uh, I've been editing the movie. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my god! I get out of the hot tub, and listen. Okay, most hot tubs probably should have a railing on the stairs. Yeah, and I understand the aesthetic, and I'm not blaming anybody. No, um, but it's stone. But, it's you know, stone. Wet stone doesn't generally. So I was getting out of the hot tub, and I got to the bottom step, and well. 
fully, I mean, I mean backwards to the point where I was like, he's going to hit his head. No, on I almost stone, died. I think I almost died. And the stone edge is sharp. I would, sharp I would have stone. died. You would have died. You I think I would have actually died you or I've been Terry Shivo. Right, because if you hit your neck, you could fracture your neck and spinal cord. Right. So I was thinking, I was like watching him, like, oh, and now you strand oh. I freaked out. Michael's I was never like, this moved is so it. quick in his life. This is it. Michael was there. I was like, and he had a drink in his hand. I was starting to bleed. Well, this is my. This is the damage still. It's still like bleeding. Oh there. It's fuck! Like, it's like this is a cut or something. Yeah, that looks weird. It is weird because I don't know if I hit the is rock. It like dead, or it, dead or what? You no, were, it's not dead. It's just so like you were bleeding. So I was like starting to bleed, and Michael's your already ass there. Hit. I watched ass your was... ass hit. I watched your low back Listen, hit the step, and I was I... like, "That pile of nitro is going to burst." No, it's and like... we had to check in front of everyone, which is fine. I don't even care anymore about it. Any wasn't of that. burst. I really though. don't even care. Like I really just don't even care. But let me see. I know you had your hole out the whole trip. Well, let me just see bruise. Oh, oh god, that's such a weird bruise. Like it literally that hit one that's... spot. That's weird. Is that not the weirdest thing? I'm like, ooh. It didn't like go all the way across both no, cheeks. No, I think my back was a little bit bruised. I've been sore. I'm not gonna lie. Um, also, I wanted to show you this. I haven't shown anybody this yet. And I Maybe will show the picture of listeners. Alex's ass. So this. Oh one. wow. Oh my god. It is a difference. Even <laughs> though I'm still beefy, like that's it's, so weird. Is that weird? It is so much wider and like I know. forward than Thick. here. Yeah. That is. weird. Weird. I know, but I thought it was pretty cool. I, was like, I well, like that. So I'll show everybody on my progress. You can see my titty. Um, oh my god! On YouTube, even though I didn't upload our last YouTube video because I've been so fucking busy. Sorry, booked and busy. Booked and busy. Sorry to Slutty Puffin. We didn't see you. Oh, sorry, Slutty. slutty I'm we sorry. love you. But it was like, a bad day. You can't do it. It was a bad day. It was a good day. Um, but well, it, was it was a, a good day. It was a bad day because it was our last day, and yeah. you were there at one o'clock, and we weren't even there until like four o'clock. So like the problem was the he timing. was at those shoots by the time we went. By the time to we got there, Saint Regis, yeah, he was like, done. We were really delayed. Now I will recommend if you're ever in a ski town, go to like the high class, like. Yeah. Wasn't, what's crazy is like, can you have more bars, please? But also, girl, I know. The, like that's what I was saying is all these rich people are being like, like, what the fuck? So, and then meanwhile, we took up like two full tables yep. and like 15, 14 fuck chairs. Em. We were like, well, we have fourteen chairs now. We're in the heat in the middle. I was like, I don't Dead care. Ass metal. I was like, no I fuck. didn't even get. A, I got up to pee once, and I was like, I'm nope. going back. To I my didn't seat. pee once at the Sandridge. So why would we? Like, we, we need our did, seat. Yeah. Why, why didn't, didn't you? I? We had a lot of alcohol. I didn't even pee at. It's the altitude. Now that I think about it. I don't it, remember. Did you pee at St. Regis? No. No. That's I didn't. weird. I don't want to leave. Oh, I, I couldn't know. pee. I couldn't stand up. Um. So, also. Oh, that's right. Um. I lost nine pounds on the trip. That's, to me, that's. I got on the scale. That's well, evil. I got on the scale and I was like, oh. But the thing is, I knew I did because. Oh, yeah. You weren't I eating I could at not all. eat. You didn't eat breakfast ever. You oh, barely no, this ate This is what I would do. I, I would be like, eat something It was lunch. never lunch. I would have a bagel in the morning. Yeah. And the first couple of days, it was like somebody else's half-eaten bagel. Like, I was just like picking. I didn't eat at that we meat didn't eat place. Lunch. We went to oh, the yeah. fucking swim in the oh, crater with the so gays. Good. And oh, I didn't eat any of that. Those gays were hot. I know. I'm ready to get <laughs> fucked by everybody. I'm ready just to be. I warned Matt. I was like, Matt, I'm about to make a Sniffy's account, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell people, like the young guys, like, hey, if you want to be fucked daddy. by two dads, yeah. come over. Like, I don't, I don't even done. care anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm tired of waiting. I'm not going to find it on my own. Like, Yeah, I'm going to actually yeah, gonna go, to full, You're gonna full go, go full. You're going to go full. Full yeah. go now. I uh -huh. don't really. I mean, and we've actually had a talk about the full go that started in Salt Lake City, and it was fun. I don't remember this. No, me and my partner, Michael. What did what about like because we were like let's get some people over let's have fun let's just fuck around oh when fuck you were it. in Salt yeah Lake City. and so now I thought yeah. feel like it's like kind of a thing like okay yeah let's keep fucking around let's keep finding people even if we don't though it was but hot together with us. okay well there can still be solo play I mean I'm not stupid um <laughs> but I mean I don't know it's kind of fun sometimes with your partner I guess because it helps spice it maybe I think the edible's hitting because I feel like I just lost my whole entire mojo yeah you were like <laughs> I was like I can I mean it's really fun. It's so fun to have sex. It's uh, like, it's, well, is it? Um, I don't know. I don't know anymore about then anything. Once it's happening, I'm really just kind of. I'm upset really everything. unexcited with a lot of things. I right feel like now. me too. I'm, I'm the, just kind of like. But that's what sex. I'm saying. I think Great. it's like I'll scroll on Twitter and just like see dicks and like it doesn't even. I'm like okay. It's like me really too. boring. I think it's, it's like, the depression for yeah. me after the trip. I think it was I a build of the trip. It is. Yeah. It is because we're only on day three of being back because we came back on Sunday. <laughs> um. Right, like I'm barely even unpacked. Like I didn't even do anything. Like I'm it's not crazy. Fully. I know. And right to work. Right, right to, to work, work we go. Because that's what we do. We just we go love right to, work. to fucking work. We love to work. We now, live are you to on a work. seven day? I'm on a seven day. Jesus Christ. So every day is torture. Um, yeah. 
Well, yeah. that's so fucking fun. I'm having a blast. I'm just living my best life. I'm wishing I had time off. We're wishing um, you all well. We're not well. So we're I not have, well. I have some topics to you. Okay. Did you... S- I have some topics to... Did you see the Marjorie Taylor Greene? She told a reporter to fuck off? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, honey... It's like... Girl. President Trump and any- Why so many people that support Donald Trump love conspiracy theories, including yourself? He seems to attract lots of conspiracy theorists. <laughs> well, let me tell you, you're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. And the left and the media spreads more conspiracy theories. We like the truth. We like supporting our constitution, our freedoms, and America first. So, what about Jewish all, space lasers? Tell us about Jewish space no, lasers. No, why don't you, why don't you go talk about Jewish space lasers? <laughs> and really, why don't you fuck off? How about that? Thanks. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Why don't you fuck? Thank you. Thank you very much. Really, why don't you fuck off? How about that? Thanks. Thank you very much. Like, like this how is bad a are leader of our country. Yeah. She's <laughs> literally a loud voice in the house. It's like. So anyway, there's I had people to play being like, up. she could be Trump's vice presidential pick. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh no, and that's what she kept asking the reporter before that was like, they're pro-Israel, but they think there are Jewish like, space I just know lasers. It. She goes, it's just not gonna be Nikki Haley. I know that. It's like, and I'm like, huh? Like, uh, what is, is wrong with these at? people? These people. Oh, are, this is sad. This, this is, is the world that our parents' parents created. It and is. No, it is. Competition. We're just, we're you're, just you gotta be the best. You yeah, gotta we're, be. We're just inheriting it. Nobody's right. You're right. It's yeah. like, hi, can we have a conversation, please? Because let's yeah. talk about the Jewish space lasers. Like, why did you say why that? Why did you why would you say that? And then you're gonna tell me to fuck off. Okay. Right. That's well, the part where I'm like, so which so is So you it? said it, but now you're making you think Why don't you tell us about it? Because it's she like, doesn't know what she's doing know. because she's an idiot and she's fucking her trainer. Like she's and they're all cheating. No offense, on. but like the trainer's not doing such a good Remember job. Remember Lauren Lauren the, Bobert's again. son just got arrested for like all this type <sighs> of fraud and stealing and just like it's all just so corrupt. It's so corrupt. But guess what? But she's raising her son to be a man, a God-fearing man. Yeah, okay. Like, no, he's and, going to jail, honey. Until he's fucking, like, like everyone on the block. Uh, yeah, okay. until you're getting- Laura, like, you're in hand jobs in the fucking- okay. Lauren's giving hand jobs and getting finger blasted at musicals like, with cool. families around. Like, But yet she's going to say drag she's... queens are scary. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now go ahead and tell us what you got. Okay. Anything? I've had several thoughts over the past few days several. since we've come back. Okay. First of all, were shepherd's hooks ever used to pull people off stage? So you know how we see that a lot in cartoons where like a shepherd's hook comes out yes. from the side and goes Whip. and pulls on yeah. the neck and like pull or body and pulls them off stage. Off the stage. Is that real? Like what why did they start drawing that a lot? You know, and like sometimes I wish I had a shepherd's hook. Give them the hook, is that what they call it or give them the Yeah. I think there's a saying for it and maybe they took the saying literally. Okay. Yeah, like, or maybe they really stage. literally pulled them off stage. They back could in the have. Day. They could have got a hook. Put them around the neck and put just it around yank. the neck. Yank them. Yank I kind of wish. I'd want to know when it's acceptable. Like, what age before you get like a extended picker upper thing? Uh, <laughs> like honestly, my great grandpa uh, had. Now my great grandpa would be sitting in a chair, reach over, pick up his diet coke with like those t- suction yeah, tongs, yeah. and bring it here and have it. And I'm like. I could never get now, off the couch. Though. The remote's on the other end of the couch. I'm so sick of it. Reach out, grab it. I'm so sick of that, <laughs> like, to be think, honest with you. I know. You. When I'm in the couch, I'm like, I don't want to get in the, the remote. Couch. When I'm in the couch, I'll wait for Matt to right. get the remote. Can you hand me that? When he like walks through, I'm like, yep. can you please, hand me the remote? Please, please, please. Yeah, I'm yep. like, the remote. Can you get, the, can you get me like, water? And Michael's like, <laughs> I know. I'm they like, hate sorry. it. They fucking hate it. Can you also get me a drink? But I'm like, um, I'm helpless. Last night, Matt got me water with ice cubes in it. Wow. You're really the get, remote. You're getting the first class treatment, as always. Now, how is Chicago? I didn't really talk to you about oh, that. Not to go off so, of the subject again, but we're just going all over the place. Michael and today. Bobby are an economy like scrambling for seats. I go onto the app, and there's like first class seats available to Chicago that night. We and actually had like, coach seats available, Jane. but we didn't hit it right away. Oh, and then we went to go and hit it. Oh, I didn't when know you, that. When you committed, we then were like, okay, let's do it. And oh. then we went and hit, and then it was, well. But then there were still like five seats available, it's weird. and it wouldn't let you it. get into Something's that. Something weird about it. Because they were Economy Plus uh, seats. They were like chosen. We, but that's what's fucked up is we ended up paying for Economy Plus and for what? Exit Row. You well, Exit Row on the way from Salt Lake City because there's the only ones that were like. Oh, yeah. To, that's the only ones. Oh, so they let okay. us do it. So that's why I'm like, why can't we do it for Chicago? Why can't we do it to Chicago? Because we would have I think fun. a lot of people got on and. Yeah, probably at once. Got on and got out. Got in, got in, got in. Now, now Chicago. You Chicago, got in at what time so we, though? Late. We landed at like 1030. Okay, that's not bad. So we Ubered not great. half an hour to our hotel, which is right across the street from Wrigley Field. So we're in Wrigleyville. I mean, it's just endless. Right near the boys. Uh, we walked 
13 well, it's minutes. Boys Town now that's like 13 Halstead. minutes to Boys Town, which I found out you can still call it Boys Town. Thank Good. God. Good. Boys Town, bitch. Not North Halstead. Why are we trying to make that happen? I know. Like, I'm sorry. So we went to Roscoe's and Sidetrack, you know, had our fun. I mean, you can get lost in Sidetrack. Like, did we you went see any upstairs. Cocks? Um, or did yes. you guys, like, or were you just dancing? No, we, we saw, I, yeah. Did you guys play with some cocks? No, I wish we had, See, but I was so you. hungry for dinner because we skipped it. Correct. I was starving. Did so you know that we I didn't went eat to a Mexican the- food truck? So me and Michael had nothing to eat all day on that that trip on the last day, and then when you guys took left and we finally said fuck it, we're going to take the flight tomorrow. It was like four thirty, and I was like, uh, I haven't had anything to eat today, like not breakfast, oh, not even a fuck. bite, not even a bite. Not a bite, not a bite of anything. I didn't have a bite of anything until 8 o'clock that night. Let's put it that way. Holy shit. And yeah, then I couldn't eat right. all of it. <laughs> it's so stupid. What did you get at 8 o'clock? I got, we got, we went to this like. We go V. We go my weekly sh- <laughs> My Wigovi. We go um, I had water and lemon. Um, no, I had uh, French onion soup and I had a French dip, but only half of it. Oh my God. That's what you eat the whole day Saturday. No yeah. wonder you lost nine pounds. Right. And I was walking a lot and I was like, okay, well. I guess I'm not hungry. Edging, that loses weight. That can Lodges do it. Well. <laughs> edging. So we're here. Well. Um, it's like, I don't know how much, but yeah. Um, oh, fuck. So also we need, well. What? What do you, okay. And then we like woke up and yeah, went to Sunday. Going. We went, on Sunday we went to brunch at this like organic brewery place in Wrigleyville. Organic. Un- uncommon ground. Great. It was cute. It was a good. It was good food. Sure, it'll last. No, it will. I'm sure it will. Yeah. They have other locations. Hmm. Oh, honey. Interesting. Hmm. Bobby hates organic now because he. You don't even hate. You don't. I eat. don't hate. I don't even like you anything. Don't I don't like yeah, anything. I know it's like it's don't not just organic. About food. It's everything. But I can still drink. Food. That's you're like fucked up. Oh, like, yeah. You can still drink. Honey, drink and take marijuana pills. Girl, you drank. I um, drank because those apre events. <laughs> That first one in the basement on Wednesday. That we, first one was we so had fun, per- though. Well, was it? So much fun. But then two of our friends were throwing up. Well, yeah, one in that- an Uber and then one on a plate. Well, one on the and plate then- was because she took also 50 milligrams of marijuana. <laughs> now, I would not recommend that. This- I have video and I will be showing video of that. Actually, I'll run the clips now. She's going to be so pissed. I but love I it. I had a pee in front that? of her. There's a video of me peeing. There's a video of me sta- sitting down to pee. And then yes. I'm like, Courtney, why are you staying in this bathroom? She's like, Bob, Bob. And she was eating like <laughs> potato chips. I'm like, you're eating while I'm on the pot. I was like, I have to fart. Can you please? And then I, I go, oh, oh. And then I laughed. It's, it's a really great time. So I'll show you that. Uh, I'll oh, give God, you that. I can't, edit, wait. Yeah, I it, can't wait. It was like, yeah, it was just so much fun. It's and one of those things. It was a lot for a lot of people there on, was, my, on that Wednesday so night did you apre. you notice the Wednesday night apre, there was a lot hotter guys than there were yep. on the Thursday? Uh-huh. The Wednesdays Thursday were like the real ones. Where we were upstairs, and the, downstairs. And the, yeah, and yeah. the Thursday was like the, the, the fake ones. The ones who are like, we're here. The circuit party gays. We're yeah. here. Like, I'm like, you're not here because you don't ski. You're just here. Like, Literally, if you don't ski, you don't bring anything to the flexible. table. You're not flexible. What are you? You're not coming. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Like, <laughs> are those are criteria for next year's trip? <laughs> no, but I would like to make a suggestion to people um, who don't get invited and they decide that they're going yeah. to. First of all, I'm. Let's sh- give first a of suggestion. all, let me just like speak this out. Um, Into the there are shifting. There's shifts that happen. Like yes. sometimes, not every year, everybody's going to go. No, okay, there's shifts. So there's going to be some shifting. And just because you didn't make it this year doesn't mean you might not make it last year. I'm right. not trying to be an asshole and sound like this pompous bitch, but like. Don't write people and be like, oh, I see what's going on here. Because oh, like you don't. I don't you really don't. I'm not qu- okay. That's not why. Why are you guilty? That is such a weird. First of all, that's not why. <laughs> First of all, that's not why you were invited. First of all, I, it's my fucking aunt's house and you don't even like- fucking talk to me. So then you send a text to two people that don't even. <laughs> Okay, well, why did you send it to me? Yeah, like I forgot. Like it wasn't even to First you. First of all, I totally forgot that aspect. Like, second it's of like- all, yeah, no. And that's what was weird. And then it's like, I was do like, you want me to talk to who about it? Okay, uh, person, like, cool. Yeah, you're like, okay. <laughs> like, well, it makes things clear to you. That's, well, and it makes sense. It clarifies and things. And it's getting it me clar- out of a party. Um, yeah. Exactly. Now, <laughs> um, but I will say this, though, like, don't be that person. Don't, don't do really it. It's really embarrassing when. Don't complain that you didn't get invited to something now, that I'm is a, a gift. A gift. I'm a six, okay? Which we'll talk about that next week of the anagrams. Yeah, but like, I was like, what? I can feel it. Like, I feel, oh my God, I'm high. <laughs> What was I, I saying? What was I, I saying? Six. I feel it. No, what you was I saying? You feel when people text no, that bad I, they are mad I, at you? No, 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 no. I can feel like that person felt for a second. And, yeah, but I don't oh, actually yeah, necessarily yeah. maybe send the text, but like 
I understand how you're feeling when you see the pictures up of all these friends and people that, you know, and you maybe didn't get to go. I'm not trying. I'm trying to create a mix of people that are from my new life and my old life. Amen, sister. And I'm not trying to leave anybody out. If you were not invited, it's not because I don't love you. I think we talked about this last year. It's just because you were annoying. No. And it's just because, honestly, there's not enough room. Like, I'm <laughs> no, sorry. I know. Like, like, you can't bring it. And now whole, we have a core. So now your whole kit and caboodle can't come. No, like, I can't bring the kit and caboodle of folks. This year made some people permanent, I would say. This year made I, some, yeah, there's some very clear residents. core. There's like, a, there's a pre- I was like, oh, we have to have. There definitely are. Courtney again. Yeah, there's. We have to oh, have. Oh. Emma again. We have to well, have. Like, I'm going through it, and we don't have to have the one married couple. We don't, we don't have, have to have, have certain people. Certain people. So oh. I realized that. I, I was mean, like, I don't want to see, like. Yeah. It's really, it is a gift, it and is. I'm very thankful. That's why I said, I was like, Matt, I don't expect to be invited every year. No, because you can't. it was a blast while we went, and if we don't go one year, hopefully we go the next. Like, it's fine. There's always the next year. There's hopefully we're just the next year. getting older. <laughs> I know. Pretty soon it's like, I can't I'm going ski. into a full flesh. After four days of skiing, I was like, I can't move my back. Like, my hips so I decide, hurt my low back to the point where yesterday I was still having back pain at work, and I'm like... So all I did was ski. Actually, I skied three days because I skipped yeah, Friday. You skipped remember? Friday you were tired. So I skied three days, and I was like in pain. You another did five do, days. but you did do a I did do snowmobile building. That, that was actually takes. That was yeah, hurt. that's why that I didn't was go. Painful as fuck. Yeah, that's why my actually ankle. when Matt was going fifty miles per hour mm, across snow. No, yeah, I was like oh, sorry, oh, snowboarders oh, oh, oh. not fun. Or I keep going snowboarders. You but could do it. I know I can't because I'm strong and I'm hot. I can't help it. You said that. <sighs> Um, I know, because yeah, I'm really trying to boost it, my confidence. I love that Thank for you. Thank you. It's, don't be a jerk off. Right. Don't be a jerk off if you're not invited <laughs> to something. And don't be a jerk off in general. Like, nobody wants, because you're not going to get anywhere by saying something like that. And I've really, it took me a long a time to learn like, that. Now, what I will say, though, is this person is old enough to know that because they're older than me. So, ah! with that being said, ah! you should know better. You don't need you to, sometimes you got to keep your lips zipped. If you're upset about something, you can address it when the time is right. And it's but, also not just flexibility. It's also osteoporotic bones. Like, do you have osteoporosis? Like, um, I mean, do you there's have so many you know, concerns? concerns. There, we, his we're aunt and uncle had to walk up the driveway. Like, it's it's uh, tough terrain it's out here. It's not good. Tough terrain. Now, I will say, I'm actually really shocked. Um, they don't make us sign waivers. I know. And I think, I think I'm going to suggest it. Because I don't want people yeah. sitting out of that hot tub and then no, Yeah, that. like, no, we can't have like, that. You wouldn't have done over. it, but you'd be dead. Michael could have. <sighs> Michael being like, my partner's dead because of you. I, I mean, like, I literally. You were close. I was like, oh! No, it's, I, I feel like I had a second chance of life, and that's why I think I'm ready just to fuck everything and do whatever I want. I think my cosmic yell kind of pushed you forward and prevented Oh, my God, all what if I went into a different dead? What if yeah. I went to a different dimension? I was like, ah! You did. You felt like fell forward. But then what was weird is I think I kind of blacked out, because all of a sudden Michael was you there, did. and I was like, and then you I was did. bleeding, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I'm in my Speedo, my you, little Speedo. You sat on the ground long enough for me to get worried that you wouldn't get up. Yeah. I was like, he might not be able to get up. No. I, and like, I, I thought the legs were broken, like the spinal cord at the bottom. I didn't know what. I didn't know what was happening. Your sacrum so was hit. I'm, Your sacral plexus. Yes. It's uh, released. It wasn't cute. And, I, and the first thing I'm worried about, though, unbound. is the pollen idol, which why wouldn't you be? Because if that thing opens up. If that opens up, it's over. It's the gates of hell, honey. Honey, it's the gates of hell. i got to stuff that shit like oh, a turkey again, honey. Now, um, other things. Other things. I do have something okay, else. Okay, cool. Um, cool. Okay. So here's this thing that RuPaul's doing, because fuck RuPaul, obviously. Um she opened up a, or he, I don't them, even know. They, them. Scary enough to be anything. Honestly, not cute. It's out not, of drag. It's, yeah, <laughs> out of drag. It's like, yeah, It's kind of alien like. Like, if that thing started walking towards me oh, in a I'd dark like, hallway, I'd be screaming and running away. Like, that's they, a nightmare. Because they're like six foot tall. Right. Six foot four, I and think. And gangly and, and like, everything oh! else. It's just like, like, oh! So they opened a online bookstore or something, like, or they partnered with this, like, all store. And they're, they're selling it as this. Rainbow capitalism bookstore, but then you go on the bookstore and you can buy anti woke books. You can buy all sorts of books because they partnered with this all these online people. bookseller that sells everything. It's like it's not curated. It's not for so it. So it's really just you're just trying to make money. Mm-hmm. Oh, weird capitalism. I think so it's let me so just weird. find it for uh, you, honey. honey. I mean, if I was an online piece of people, like yeah, we have a section for that. Perfect. We'll sponsor you. Hey, oh the. 
Increasing access to gay books, it's a rainbow capitalist drop shipping operation. And here's how I know. So in their FAQ, they say a bunch of things about how they don't like Amazon, about uh, books getting banned. But the important thing that they say is that they've expanded their catalog from 3,000 to 10 million titles, which means that they are shipping things from Ingram, which is just the method that every bookstore uses to buy their books. So what they've done is make a website with the entire Ingram catalog on it. All of it. And then you can 10 million titles through Ingram. Um, Sounds like they're really special of giving your money to RuPaul means that there's all kinds of shit on there because they haven't actually been thoughtful about what they're stocking. They just stock literally any book. So you can buy anti-woke books. You can buy uh, transphobic books. You can buy books written by Nazis and other fascists. You can literally this buy the, the, the protocols the of the elders of Zion from You RuPaul. can buy the Mormon books. Um, again, because this is not a queer bookstore. This is a drop shipping operation with mm-hmm. a kind of veneer of progressivity over it. And a lot of the books that they're stocking, they're actually charging way more for than you would get them for huh. from a normal RuPaul bookstore or other retailer. So up here, you can see An Archive of Feelings, which is one of my favorite books. You've got the half-off member price, price, which you pay $5 like, a month for, of oh, $80, or the retail price of $160. For that book. But you can buy this same book directly <laughs> for $30. From the directly for from the book. Like, like exactly the same book. Say, oh. Uh, they say that part of their goal is supporting authors, but they haven't kind of clarified anywhere on the website. And I really did look through it about um, what their split with the offer authors is that is any larger or different to the standard split that <laughs> you would be getting through any bookstore buying it. <laughs> I can't. So. This is a scam. This is completely <laughs> fake. This is completely nothing. This won't actually do anything to increase uh-huh. access to queer I'm literature. just, yep, what there we go. I need just to that to me. I, yep. And that's so, have you heard about the other been. gay uh, famous person that's been having issues lately? So RuPaul's making that money there. Guess who else is making money off of people and, um, in a sinister way? Andy Cohen. No, uh, you heard about all this shit? No. He's in trouble. Good. It's just on the front cover, but I guess everything that- little That little cokehead? Like, what so, the yeah, fuck? So, yeah, he's a fucking full- f- uh, I mean, imagine him. He's horrifying. Like, he's that there's creepy older dad who lawsuits. comes up in the bar and just does this. So I think I would so, like it. I would. First. I don't like his- I don't like his face and all his yeah, body. I don't think I he's just, cute. He's annoying. So, there, he's, he's getting so sued annoying. by three different entities, uh, like Bravo's getting Wait, sued. Wait, sued? Yes, because what he does with these women and housewives is he gets them fucking blacked out drunk- <gasps> In these great places, but he flies them there. But then he gets on. Bl- the rule is so they have to party. Wait, so that's why they do those interviews where they're on couches around him, like or he hosts a get together. Yeah. So or that's the get together that he. That's at the end of the season. So he's like, so Paula, you did say, and they're uh, blacked out, and they were blacked out when they said it. So it's like then they're looking back, going, well, yeah, but like, and so he is shady as shit. Um, and I don't know, like maybe we're talking about two gay bad apples, but um, maybe no, I think it's a trend. I've noticed a lot. And so I wanted to be a bad guy in Salt Lake. Like there were some bad guys. St. Regis that I was like, you're or bad r- people. Rude. They're rude. Yeah. I'm just over. I'm over. I don't also, like people aren't friendly. You're like, never going to be hot enough to be rude to me. So uh, don't do it. Oh my or to God. anybody like wow. you're not that hot. Okay. You you're can be the hottest person in the room, but there's somebody hotter than you. Pull your pants somewhere. Down. So shut the fuck up. If you think you're the hottest person, yeah, let down. me see your dick. And if you're a girl, we're gonna leave find them something to show us your titties. We don't want to see the vagina. No. Titties, okay, but vagina. I'm sorry, oh. but like, is there? A, oh, this is. Was there a pretty vagina? So, yeah, I was gonna ask. I don't like, think there's any. I, more that I think about it, there's there a pretty anything? Like the more cocks not, that I've been seeing most lately cocks too. That I see, I'm like kind of ugly even, lately. Well, mine still looks pretty, and yours. I is feel good. like mine's pretty, but then I look at like how long's my hair. Around it, and then I'm like, yeah. the balls are really small today. And then I'm like, no, my balls have gotten. I'm like, they, it gets smaller today. Now, yes, Monday. No, but do they? Monday, get, they were huge. Oh, as we get older, yeah. Is that something, or do they get bigger? I think the sack gets stretchier, More, but I don't right. think the balls. I don't think I can I don't get know any that the balls get bigger or change. Smaller. I have a big old bull hanging bull balls. That if I was like on Same. my knees, you would it's see so the bad. balls. But it would like you can it's, almost see. Oh them, like, yeah, if out, you like, were to get on all fours, like these things yep, are dragging on. They the are hitting the ground. So I'm like, how is this going to get even lower? Like I'm not really it's sure. It's going to be a problem. Of so if support. you like little hangers, go ahead and email us at she's not doing and send me your cock pics. But also, <laughs> whatever. No, but most are ugly. I think. Like we have to admit, like if. Uh, and here's the thing. We're, when something. we're looking at our own and we think they look good and all that, maybe they partially right. fluffed or I just showered or something. Like, if I were to get a random time where someone hands me a card that says, show me your cock now, 
Yeah, it might Most not be as likely, pretty. It might not be as pretty because you got to kind of wake her up. But I mean, I but sometimes they're asleep. When I was showering, I was like, "Oh no!" Especially in the cold, and that's what it was. And I you was come a back from cold, skiing, probably, and then I'm like, it's "Like, where's oh, my? It's just balls. It's, it's just, just a tight ball, ball, tight, tight, tight little a acorn ball, ball, acorn to tights." I mean. It happens, and it's fine. Privates that, are privates for but, a reason. Keep but them I private. Think you're right. Like no one is even in the private area no. hot enough to be rude. Don't be rude. I think that's gonna be the goal of this uh, episode. Is yeah. Don't be a fucking bitch ass rude bitch. Right. And that goes out to you, RuPaul. And that goes out to you, Andy Cohen. Okay. Okay. Now, now I have another thing that I've thought of, and this isn't just a uh, something to kind of discuss, but like to get you excited. Last night I watched Poor Things with Matt. Did you watch it? Dude. Good? Bro. It's really, Bro, it's dude, fuck really yeah. good. You need to watch it. Do I need to watch and it with you, an edible? Yes. Okay. Because it is one of the weirdest things I love you will it. I ever can't see. I can't wait. I love those movies. It's as weird, if not weirder, than Everything Everywhere All at Once. Okay. It takes place in this, like, it seems like it's in the past, but it's, like, maybe not really. It's so kind we just got to like, kind of see what's happening and we watch uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. But. I want to throw this out there for you to think about because I wonder. If, well, yeah. Don't tell me anything though. Well, you can know the premise of the movie. No, I don't want to know. Oh. I don't want to know anything. Oh, okay. Oh, that ruins it. No, I mean like, no, it doesn't ruin it. It doesn't. I kind of like going into things not knowing. Okay, because I didn't really know much. But I that's just the knew, best I knew, movies that I find. I knew a one or two sentence summary of the movie. See, because once I because it's on Rotten Tomatoes, here's the problem that's how they sell it with me in movies. Okay, okay. When I read the description, I can tell you how it starts, finish, ends, the climax. Oh yeah, and not this. I'm one. a really, I'm a really intuitive because I'm a psychopath and I'm a sick girl. You could read three, four sentences about this movie and you would not know what's go what goes on in the well, middle sure, or I the guess, end. I guess, or okay. the end. Okay, so say what you're gonna say. So I just wondered if the main character Bella is neurodivergent. Like the whole movie, I was like. Is she actually just neurodivergent? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. You're going to watch and be like, oh. I mean, because I really, really think that. Like, I don't think I that know. she is oh. what they started as. Interesting. So so we're going to go ahead and, and, and witness that. Now, is that part of the movie or is that no, like. No, it's not. You're just noticing on a personal level. I just level. noticed on a personal level the whole movie. I was staring at the screen and I'm like, every time she's like acting a certain way, I'm like, I don't think she's acting like a blank, which you'll figure out when you watch. I think she's just neuro. Okay, so especially that's part as she of it. gets th- as progresses through the movie. Okay, so but in the beginning, I didn't really think that. But then about halfway through, I was what, like, wait. But here's what I think about neurodivergence. Because she's became very she's very truthful. She just states facts. She tells things as they are. I almost, and I'm like, yeah, that's what uh, you're right. You're not wrong. You're not lying. She doesn't lie. That's the thing. The whole movie, not one lie hmm. from her, even though it's like. Oh, this is weird. Well, she's acting weird. Ooh, I don't know. I wouldn't oh, do that. I can't watch it. But it's like, actually, though, I could be her. I want to be her. You are her. You got to watch it. It's I so actually fucking think good. that people aren't necessarily. This is going to be crazy. Okay. So this yeah. is going to be out there. I remember I'm high. I sometimes don't think people are really neurodivergent. I think that they were raised in a really shitty, crazy mom home where they like wiped their face every yeah. time and they wiped all the things down and they didn't get their shots, though. But then they. These are the type of people that are now being like, I'm neurodivergent. It's like, no, you just weren't socialized by your mother. If you don't socialize a puppy, is probably they're going to not like people. COVID I, happened. There's so many COVID puppies out there. So we all know about that. Okay. Oh, so, the COVID puppies. Uh-huh, and I have one. Um, and then, but then, you know. No, I think that do you could, think that could be I think possible? there are a few out there who think, well. I'm sure there's people who really might do. might gravitate towards that label. But in reality, it's easier to say, yeah, well, I'm, I'm just this, this instead of I'm disabled. Well, and honestly, like, well, maybe. Well, and maybe you are. And honestly, then I think to myself, are we all disabled in some way? We some are. people can't read. We all have some traits so, that are like, I, I, we're does all that just make fucking me fucked up. OCD? Like, I thought I had a, I was OCD all growing up. And then I was like, I mean, or I am I just tired? And by that, I mean, yeah. <laughs> You're like the opposite of OCD. I am. I'm you couldn't so stay tired focused this week enough too. to like, like get something right to save your life. I know. I can focus. I really can when it inter- when it interests me. But then you have another interest five minutes later. <sighs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I've been no sticking. Cap. No, no I've been cap. Sticking. This is a four year project. I've been doing yeah. my drone for two years. This has been impressive, actually. So yeah. like, you've stayed on a lot. I've stayed on. You got I'm good drone in my lane. footage. Listen, bitch. Wait till you see this movie I'm making. Though. Oh, I know. Like, I, I even can't showed wait. Michael like a preview. I was like, here, <gasps> just look at this. Oh. He's like, this is actually really good. I was like, he never says Did that. Did you see okay. the videos I sent you? I have good cap. Yes. I, have good, I like, need more videos of Emma. Okay. 
I gave you some of Matt. A couple. It's like I, and Matt has a few actually. Okay. Matt gets caught I don't on camera know if a couple any times. Videos of me. I got some of Ashley. I, I, I got, got Courtney. Girl, obviously, I got you. <laughs> okay, great. And Courtney obviously is on every single shot almost. So I'm like Courtney. Sean's could, probably be, not in any. No, Sean just walks by. So he's, he's just yeah. He's there. don't worry when he's you there see, to ski. Uh, He's there to ski, and that's fine. Some people, and that's what I also realized, I guess, in this trip, and this is what we can kind of close out with. Yeah. Um, because we have to make it short. Oh wow. We'll talk oh, about well, yeah, okay, oh, oh yeah, that's fine. Good. Oh yeah, that's fine. Good. Everything's fine. Yeah, you're right. We're you're right. You're, schedule. you're right. You're right. You're right. I um I think that there's a lot of I think nobody's perfect, and I think when you realize that, and you finally get to a point where you're like, wow, okay, so this person might be really stupid at this. Yeah. But like, I'm really stupid at this and I get a, like, so I just, on this trip, I don't know what it is. And this could be the edibles that I was taking on the trip and now off the trip. Most likely. Most likely I'm just in a haze, but, um, I'm just thinking it's to myself, one, one haze. big haze, uh, <laughs> since I got to Denver. One big on, purple haze since last, a week and a half ago, literally yeah, a week and a half ago. I don't really like, take drugs that much anymore. What? I haven't taken really? it in a league. Oh. <laughs> no, I forget. Cause I'm like not eating. So nothing pleasures me. Oh it's, wow! It ruined my pleasure receptors. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, that's the problem with Wobi. Wait till you get off it; you're gonna love it. No, I know because whenever because I because serotonin is made in your gut. I don't think I'm ever gonna get and off it. Like, though. no offense. Well, like, I think I'll have like a maintenance all my whole life. Oh, a maintenance. Ugh, even that. I was fine. so my whole life, unhappy I before this trip while I did it for like two weeks. I was like, what is going on? And then I got on the trip and finally like Wednesday hit and I wasn't throwing up and I wasn't. I wanted to eat again, and I was like, oh, my God, I love here. This See, is so. And maybe that's. I, I had a great time, though, this time, so maybe I need it versus somebody like you who doesn't need it. Pete said nothing excites you. <laughs> um, Like in a, in a sense of like eating wise or like yeah. ingesting something oh, okay. or okay. like even alcohol. So it's even like taking I'm an like, edible, you don't want it. It's like I'm not like, oh, my God, I want an edible. It's more like. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but I do eat the shit out of those outshine bars, and oh, let me tell you, I have to get some of those. I keep forgetting. Daryl, I just got more. Daryl, oh my god, I saw someone today with a popsicle, and lime I was like, why is, does that look so? Yeah, I don't know lime. why. I like, I lime. need lime. It's lime, so tart. Strawberry was a different type of good. It's a different good. Lemon was okay, but not as good as lime. Lime is like a sharp coconut. I didn't even try. Why would I? Don't I don't want to. Why would? Why would I want you? there to be a raspberry so bad. That's tart. A raspberry. A raspberry. That's I so, want a raspberry. That's what I want a raspberry. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Hands on. We love Hands, that song now. We do. But love I haven't that heard song. it since the trip. That's what I. That's the song I heard Hands it in on your Punta Cana. Hands on your knees. And then, uh, then Courtney brought it with the uh, English version this this year. Um, oh, there's a non-English version. No, she was going hands on your knees. Oh, yeah, hands yeah, yeah. on your knees. British. I'm like, okay, what are? I mean, anyway, go off that. How fun would it be to like live in the fucking UK for a couple months and just be like listening the, to all these British people? I would this die. Is where I'm at. I would die. I would be like, what if? We, what if we just backpack Europe? What if we just run away? Like, what if we just go to Europe? What if we like, just well, sell everything and buy an RV? We're going to work in this cute little coffee shop in the Alps. Like, whatever. Honestly, I think if we, like, took a we risk could do it. and we filmed, people would watch and we'd end up making money on YouTube. I'm just saying. But I just don't know if I'm ready no, for that. that's true, though. Mm -hmm. Remember we ran into those people in Santa Monica who were doing that? Yeah, it's like. Those two guys were like, we're just traveling. And they had, like, 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh -huh. I was like, uh -huh. oh. They looked like normal people Ye just walking around the pier. What's we were like, crazy, oh. though, is that, like. It doesn't take much for people to want to. I mean, because everybody's interesting in their own way and their own unique way. Uh huh. I'm still looking for mine. Um, oh, you're unique, all right. She's unique. The way you fit She's in that sweatshirt star. is unique. It is because it's so little now. <laughs> Look, these pants are so little. I know. Ooh, I Wait, I'm, why are they, What do you mean by little? Like, you should see the waist on them when I put them on. <laughs> They're like little. I'm losing my ass and I'm losing my legs. I'm just. What does say little it. mean? Do you mean they're loose? They're bigger than. No, right, but I can fit in them. Oh, so you're little. Right. You keep saying the pant the shorts are little, they and I'm are, like, why are they, they little? They are little. Were they not little before? What do you mean they no, can't get shorter? No, I can actually fit them, though, now. Now they can oh, go over you didn't my wear ass. Them ever. Right. I wore oh, them one time, and I was okay. like, well, uh, well, this is tight. Yeah, your ass is going. It's weird. Everything's going. Everything's going. And Hopefully you care. keep your legs and cock. That's all we hope. I will. The cock's getting looking better and better every day, so Aww. I just need to get rid of the gut, um, and by that I mean I'm going to have to have major surgery, so pray for me, and also go to my GoFundMe at GoFundMe.com slash Bobby Skinny Fat Ugly Fucking Belly Removal. What's, yeah, I just what had is a, the cost on that? I just had a meltdown. You just had a meltdown. <laughs> You're like, ugly fucking no, fat belly. No, because I saw... This is disgusting. I'm disgusting. 
But I'm still gonna keep going because I'm gonna be so hot that nobody's gonna be able to say no to I'm me at disgusting. any moment. Disgusting. Like what? No matter what, and whatever moment that it is, people are gonna wanna fuck me. And that's where I'm headed. So get on board or get out. And who's this? That's Corey's new boyfriend, I think. Fuck. Which I hate him. Oh, he's a fucking he's fucking somebody else already, probably. Fuck. No offense to Corey. Uh, uh Corey, we love you. Sundry. We love you. Except for your I don't. I and I used to think you were so cool. You don't love him anymore? I can't make you love me if you don't. That's a really sad song. Oh my God, I can't make your heart feel something it won't. Here in the dark, on these final hours, I will lay down beside you. And I'll feel the power, but you won't. No, you won't. Yeah, you gotta go to the Bony it's Bear version. Really, that Bony really, Bear version. Oh, I know you were singing a different cadence in Yeah, me. that's why, because it's fucked up. I'm sorry, but that song is fucked it's up. It's fucked up. It's here, actually- When I'm laying here beside you in these final hours, yeah. like, what the fuck? Like, here's the fucking- Like, cr- you had the fight, you had the breakup, you, but you, you know just went happening. to bed, you and then, know, or you know it's gonna happen in the morning. Or you know he doesn't love you, yeah, so, so it's over. Yeah, so you're just laying there like, well, this, like, well, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow night. Because I can't make you love me. Oh, wow, it's what a revelation. Actually, can I, I just say something? You had it's, one of those, it's you a had Corey, re- I had- Travis was kind of like that. I feel like I have a couple. Um, I feel like I've had some. In, oh, I've had several. You're right. In I mean, over the years, had, like, oh, no, school. I'm so upset. But then you look at it and you go, you know what? There's always somebody hotter. And there's always somebody better. There's so, always someone ruder. If you're not going to strap up and, sh- and get up and get into it. Strap on. Then get Put away. Put that strap on on. Because it's not going to get away because there's going to be somebody else hotter coming along. Come and that's on, my coming along. My son Coming is, along. <laughs> shit or get off the pot. Um, and by that, I mean. <laughs> yes. Fuck around. Don't. I feel like there was alcohol in this. I'm like, yeah. My I'm mine's the weed. Yours is totally sober. Um, this is sad. I literally you're feel fun. You're having maybe fun. I'm you're feeling high. I feel like you're feeling uh, high from the trip. Hypoglycemic. <laughs> Uh, oh, so no. wait, as long as I don't feel like I'm at Bakersfield. My sundry is, is that if you're in a relationship right now or you're feeling hurt or you're like looking for the one, don't worry. Because when your heart's broken, you'll sit there and you'll cry and you'll sing all your little songs. You can't make okay. me love you. You won't. But. <laughs> okay. But. But you're high. Sh- it's making sense. And you just <laughs> lost me now. <laughs> Stop. I was I doing saw it. the train going off the rails. No, it was, like, it was like, really like, true. Oh, no. You might be crying over them today. You might feel sad, but as soon as possible, you've got to try to get rid of that thought in yeah, your head. I'm in. Because somebody else is going to be better, and you're going to be like, why did I think this person was hot? And I think that goes for every single moment of your life. Like, as you get honestly, older, you just kind of look, you get better and better because you're finding better and better. And honestly, when I look Friends, back, Friends, like, family, all of it. At the time, there were experiences that I thought were like the worst things in the world. They're not. And then I'm looking back now and I'm like, there are so many worse things. Like, so I many. thought, oh God, how can I live with this person? Or how can I do this? Or how can I get married to him? Just kidding. But, and then you realize it's not I that even, bad. I was like, so good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like I was like, I'm going to throw in a joke. But literally, there have been a lot of bad situations where I was like, this is terrible. I'm never getting through this. And I'm like, okay, I got through it. And it was like, whatever. I would do it again. But you hurt yeah. so bad in the time, but at the though. the time, you're, you're like, hurt. I'm in pain. I think that's another subject. But like, um, if you're in New York City, make sure you check out Sob Parlor. Uh, that's our buddy Miz's new situation. Um, check it out. Honestly, it's getting some traction, it and I'm actually be. really proud of them. But then I, but that's what makes me think. Also, Maybe sometimes sobbing, sobbing is good. Sobbing is good. No, because once you clear it, I'm then just you're cleared. S- I realized I didn't want to watch all of us strangers in the house with those girl straights and all that. All of us strangers. I've heard it's a sob fest. Uh, okay, and it's the movie about like oh, the, yeah. the two straight guys who play gay people. Yeah. Um, <sighs> And basically, it makes you cry. Basically, it's going to make you cry. Great. One of them's going to die. No, I don't think so. Oh, really? I think it's about childhood. So it's even. Oh, great. So they're going to release trauma. Oh yeah, they're gonna release trauma within us. Like right. we need to see this. I'm telling you, we I should come over here. We should film it. Actually, just, we should watch. We it. We can film yeah. it, and then yeah. I'll cut out all the funny, like, yes. crazy parts. Of okay, us. I like that. Like kind of like Katya and yeah. uh, Trixie. Katya. Katya. Uh, is that sundry? So, sundry. I had so my sundry is. I realized this after getting back from Utah. Other than the lines at the bar, I would rather have a drink that tastes good and more of them than I would a strong, nasty tasting drink oh. with like two or three shots in it. Because I realized that's- It lasts longer. We left, you, yeah. I, la- I left Utah and I'm on the plane and the, you know, how the stewardesses always love the gays. And so they, they love think to get you drunk. <laughs> they love to get me and they do. They love they to do. get they a gay drunk. They love to get a gay drunk. And I got like a three shot gin and tonic and I'm like, I didn't realize at the time. And then you like, yeah. And I yep. like sip it. I almost threw up. I thought I was drinking Everclear. Like I was like, and oh, you were. 
Oh. You're like, this is so good. And then you normally let the ice water down, but you don't have time on a fucking plane when you're like, and it's, oh, we're landing in 30 minutes, so tray's up, and I'm holding a drink like, god damn it. I so I chug it. I was so drunk for about an hour. Wait, was this like on the way to Columbus or on the way Chicago. to- Chicago. I mean, honey, uh, I landed so in you Chicago, landed, you so I was ready. Go, I, was like, honey. I was like, Matt, we're dropping our shit off. While I'm on the phone with uh, United being like- What the fuck are you doing? I was like- I booked this, this next flight to Columbus from Chicago. You're going to give us those seats. And they're like, we can't. You have to cancel that reservation. I was like, I will cancel it, but you better not give those seats up. <laughs> I was so mad on the phone Good with for this you. person. Because I was like, you fucked this whole day Honestly, up. Uh, a group sundry from yeah. us is going to be, don't be a hub, a major hub of an airline that's yes. in the middle of the fucking mountains right. or the middle of the desert. We don't have time to deal with the winds, the weather. Don't make that your fucking don't hub. Don't make that the hub. Don't make it. Don't make it your hub. Don't so do yeah, it. that's my sundry. I just want a drink that tastes good. If I want another one, I'll get it. I want to have time to get multiple drinks. Right. Don't worry, I'll get drunk. Well, it but makes don't it pour more. Me. It makes these it gay last bar longer drinks too. You... You're like, you have one drink at a gay bar and you're drunk, and then you're like, do I get another? And then you're like, I'm gonna be too drunk to right. drive if I get a second. And by that, I mean so you I can't never get say a second because I don't drink and drive. Well, same. Well, I mean I don't. Well, there's no point. If like I'm going Uber, to a bar, now I Uber, but yeah. if I drive there and then I'm like, like well, okay, tonight I'm driving to Dart. You're gonna I know I can only have one. I have to get a can drink. Right, because if I want go like to last a couple hours at the gay bar, I can't get a mixed drink. Right, you gotta have it be able if to... I drive. Right, and it sucks, and that's the world we live in, folks. Everyone's trying to get drunk. Everyone's trying to get drunk. Uh, check out our new website. Yeah, uh, I have some one. new merch actually like up it. there, and also you can actually sign up to be on an email list. You can also leave us a voicemail there. Okay. Yeah, like they can hit play and they can just do it. Oh, that's so um, much easier for yeah, them. Okay. And they can write us there. I mean, they can do all this stuff there. So just go there. Um, maybe I should. That should be a new. So thank you for listening. Have Thank a, you. Have a great week, and um, be on the lookout too for maybe some extra bonus clips from uh, Park City. Maybe a little movie. Maybe a little. Maybe a little uh, situation. Maybe a little razzmatazz. A little, <laughs> <laughs> if you will. Oh. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh yeah, my god! I, I forgot that video. Okay.